Budget insurance. Affordable because you can't afford not to. Hello and welcome to a Cars.coza drag race and before we begin remember Cars.coza has the largest selection of used cars online in South Africa right now. Best place to find your next car. Off you go. I'll wait. Right and on to today's drag race and uh, let me say up front that um, yeah, this, uh, this poor Range Rover is pretty outgunned here. It's not really the fairest drag race in the world. Also, this Range Rover is about to be replaced. This is the last hurrah. This is the SVR. It's a special South African edition. And let me take you through some numbers which will illuminate how eh, unfair this race is. So, 5 liter V8 supercharged in here, 423 kilowatts, 700 newton meters. 460 kilowatts, 750 in the Beamer, but the Beamer is about 350 kgs lighter. 0 to 100, 4.5 in here, 0 to 100, 3.3 in there. So, not exactly an even matchup, but we had both these cars on test and we thought to ourselves, let's get an airstrip, you know? Let's, uh, let's put together one of our most expensive loudest drag races ever and we dragged Ashley Oldfield out here to uh, to race to the Beamer. Roof down. Why do these guys want the roof down? Who drag races with a roof down? Seriously, it's windy. Why does Chiro get a roof? Ash, uh, how, how happy are you on a scale from one to 10? I'm being blinded by the sun. It's hot. I'm pretty unhappy and who decided this would be a good drag race? Why do I have to put a convertible up against an SUV? Yeah. Is the YouTube headline for this most unlikely drag race with the most likely winner. The most pointless drag race we've ever done. But you know the old saying, Ash, when life gives you two V8s, make a, a drag race. No one's ever said that before, ever. <laughs> the launch control in here is going to be vicious. But thankfully, because it doesn't have the DCT gearbox from that M2CS, the launch control works every time, not half the time. So, let's see by how far I can beat a Range Rover Sport. Three, Launch three, control active! One, go. go! Oh, that's a good launch! Look at that Beamer go! That's a little bit of chunking. Yes! <laughs> that thing is insane! I'm losing by about eight car lengths here. I think there's an SVR behind me, but it's hard to tell. It's really, really far behind. That one. <laughs> so today we have learned how fast an M8 is. Wow, Ash, BMW were not playing around when they made the M8. Yeah, this thing is brutal off the line. The gap was so large that we thought maybe I'd done something wrong in the SVR. So we decided to give it another chance on the standing start quarter mile. Oh, he got the jump on me. Holy crap, look at that. <laughs> it was uncomfortable. Right, so now we just drive away. There's some papers flying around the cabin. It's a topless rocket. I couldn't even tell you if there was another car in the drag race with me. This is a very fast convertible and at that speed, it's very uncomfortable. Uh, 
So <laughs> we've just done a standing start quarter mile and it was hilarious by how much I lost. I mean, this is not a slow car. It's just that that M8 is insane. So we thought we've got the cars out here. We've got the drag strip. Let's do a couple more variations of the drag race. So we're going to do a rolling start. Uh, we're going to do manual mode, cross the line together at second gear, in second gear at 30 k's an hour, and then we'll do the quarter mile. And uh, hopefully that gives the Range Rover a little bit more of a chance because that Beamer's launch is just brutal. It's just unbelievable how it gets off the line. All right, now they want to do a rolling race. So we already figured that the BMW is quite a lot faster, the entire length of a drag race. So now we just want to humiliate the SVR here, it seems. But because someone on the YouTube comments once said, why don't you do a rolling race? Because apparently that's a sport. We now do rolling races. Let's go camera people. What are you all faffing with? 20, first gear. We go. I got him. Got him on the launch. Is he gonna come back at me? Whoa! I'm gonna come back. Yep, there we go. Oh my making me look like I'm standing still. <laughs> Away we go. That's fast enough. Only lost by two car lengths there. Oh, it was maybe a little bit closer there actually. if you've got a Range Rover and you pull up at the lights next to an M8 you need to ask the guy very nicely if you can roll off to 30 and then start your robot to robot race. Well that was fun and if you're interested in the timing for these three drag races you've just watched you'll find all the timing in the description below. Thanks for watching. Thanks very much for watching. If you've just watched this video, but you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, you absolutely should do that immediately right now. Click the subscribe button. It's a good idea for a bunch of reasons, which I actually don't have really a lot of time to go into, but it's good. It's a good idea. Excellent. Thanks for watching. I said that already. Budget insurance. Affordable because you can't afford not to.